Hello and welcome. It's me, Mario! <laughs> Today, we're gonna be talking about a really, really, really terrible movie Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> Super Mario Brothers was released in 1993 by Hollywood Pictures, which is a division under Walt Disney Studios. And we'll be talking about a couple more of the films from them during the time they were owned by Disney, so therefore, like everything else, even though it's technically not a Disney branded film, it counts. Super Mario Brothers was a video game that was released back in 1983, and this film came out 10 years later in 1993. Unlike the movie, the game is actually really fantastic, and it has spawned over thousands of titles through Nintendo, and Mario is such a phenomenal fictional character that is in the ranks just like Pokemon and Pikachu with Nintendo as well as other fantastic Nintendo characters. Now, we do know that there is going to be a Nintendo Land in Universal, which is a competition to Disney, which is interesting because this film is technically under the Disney ranks, but because it was in the past, it doesn't matter anymore, I guess. But we're going to be hearing about Mario Brothers very soon again with Universal because they're building Nintendo Land and it's interesting to know that a park that is a competition from Disney is going to be taking this wonderful character into their ranks. I'm really excited. I love Super Mario Brothers. This is also why I really want to check this film out because this game was such a really big part of my childhood. I've been playing it for decades now and even back when it was first on the original Nintendo we would always play it and I still enjoy, I love the concept of it, I love, even though I have never gotten past the first couple of levels, but I've been, I played that, I played Super Mario World, Dr. Mario, different titles such as those, Mario Kart, of course, it can go on and on and on, but instead of all the fantastic video games, we're gonna be talking about this cheese fest of a movie. We are welcomed by Mario and Luigi, which by the way, their names are Mario Mario and Luigi Mario, because that's totally clever. Mario. Last name. Mario. Okay, what's your name? Luigi. Luigi, Luigi? No, Luigi Mario. It's totally lame. <laughs> and they're from Brooklyn. So we get to deal with traditional, stereotypical New York accents the entire time. And it's like a Sopranos knockoff over here. They're from Brooklyn. Mario has his girlfriend, Daniela, and Luigi ends up meeting this girl Daisy who is an archaeologist and she doesn't know where she came from. She was abandoned and she was found. But now she works as an archaeologist and carries a rock around her neck the entire time because that was the thing that was on her when she was found. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't you come on down to the tanning salon and I can hook you up with some free tans. Bring a nice bathing suit though, like something a little strapless so you don't get a tan line and you probably want to take off that rock. Oh, well, actually, you know, I, I never take it off. <laughs> well, I know it sounds weird, but I mean, it's the only thing I have from when I was found. Found? Oh, I was abandoned. Oh. I grew up at St. Teresa's on Fulton Street. There's this entire dinosaur subplot. It's like they took Jurassic Park and transported it into this video game world. They end up befriending this girl Daisy and she ends up getting transported and kidnapped to another world. So they go and follow her through a concrete wall. I will give them a little bit of credit because I try to make this other well realm look really badass and it does look legit. It, they're trying to make it look like Midtown Manhattan, but for early 90s criteria, the, st the scenery does look really great, and I will give them credit for this so they get a point there. However, this doesn't last that long, and instead it turns into a creepypasta. See you later, alligator. Ever! Ah! Ah! 
Goomba. You told me, oh my humor. Now I, Mario, of Nintendo of America Incorporated, curse you forever. This is what happens, I guess, Browser's a dinosaur. I played the game, but I don't pay attention to the story. All you know is that you have to rescue Princess Peach in every game because she is kidnapped by Browser, and that's it. And you have Toad, and you have other characters along the way, but they're not really big parts of it, at least in the in Super Mario Brothers game-wise. Once you get to Mario Kart, once you get to Super Smash Bros, things like that, then they become bigger. But in 1993, they were not a big part of that. trying too hard. Stop trying so hard. <laughs> hey, was that superior driving skills or what? <clears throat> Let's get out of here for this fungus stuff eats us alive. Hey, hey, you never when something funny is gonna happen on this show. Did something funny happen? Yeah. You'd never know it. <laughs> As the film progresses on, they get closer and closer to finding Daisy and figuring out what's going on. Mario, this is a kid's movie. There shouldn't be any grinding. This is a PG rated film. Legitly, this film is PG rated. That should not be happening. <laughs> we find out that Daisy is actually from this world and that the evil scientist, Copa, has been transforming all of these people and de-evolving them. Whereas you have these dinosaurs in the mix too and there's this whole bunch of mixing DNA stereotypes and, and mad scientist work going on. And that's the underlining subplot of this entire story. Because that's what happens when you have a plumber that saves a princess. You get dinosaurs. Uh, it does, the, 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 right? That, that makes sense? Sure. I, sure. Daisy decides to stay into her world and the rest of them go back into the real world of Brooklyn. Until the end. When a couple weeks later, she comes back. Open. Luigi, Mario! Daisy! You gotta come with me, I need your help. What, what, what's wrong? You're never gonna believe this. I believe it. You do? <laughs> I believe. And I'm assuming that this was supposed to be the beginning of the sequel that never happened because this movie was such a failure. <laughs> it's an enjoyable film overall for laughs. You cannot take it seriously, but if you want to watch a terrible film and you know it's a terrible film, you can laugh at it and have a good time. The acting isn't terrible. The plot has no sense whatsoever, but the little scenery is really great and I'm sure it would make a really fun drinking game. So. If you like Super Mario Brothers, if you are familiar with the source material and want to see how they don't use any of it at all, I'd say give this movie a try. <laughs> Otherwise, if you don't like bad films and you really cannot stand them, you can go ahead and pass this one right along. Alright, we're going to continue watching some interesting 80s adventure films. We're going to be talking about My Science Project. It was a film made by Touchstone in the 80s. so. Totally unknown, but we're gonna be taking a look at that tomorrow. And as always, I hope you have a magical day, and I will see you real soon. <laughs>